Today, Tuesday, we had a pretty nice walk all the way from Ukagawa, uh, right across the mountains. Um, took about six hours and we ended up in the town of Kuguchi. So it's pretty much the first day we, when we've been able to walk in nice conditions and do everything we wanted to do. It's Tuesday morning, we're up on the trail. Just started walking from Okagawa. Uh, overcast and cool, but a nice day. Uh, much of the river really, really brown from all the floods. But uh, Okagawa is a nice little village. Um, we stopped to try to get our bearings and straight away somebody came across and pointed us in the right direction. So um, off we go. A nice touch with the children's toys they've added on the trail. Of course, it takes a child to complete the picture. These marker posts appear roughly every 500 metres, which is pretty good. It helps you keep a bit of an eye on the, the route and the distance. So uh, Tuesday morning, about half ten. It's quite a nice walk this morning, actually. We're heading to Yaguchi. Not very many people on the trail, to be honest. We got off the bus at the trailhead at Okagawa and we were the only ones that got off. Um, I think because of the bad weather a lot of people have had to make alternate arrangements. I heard people say they were going to be going on a river cruise which got cancelled and their accommodation got flooded and then yesterday the rail transport was disrupted and the buses. Pretty sure today it's getting back back on track. Um, but here we are, we're out on the trail and a bit, bit the same as yesterday, a bit of storm, uh, evidence where the storm has come through, but quite nice walking, and uh, yeah, more later. So it's customary to leave coins at these little shrines along the way, but Lynn's decided that she'll go one better and leave a little <laughs> representative holding the coins which I think is a nice touch. So this is the Hayakan Guru Lookout and uh, part of the translation is the 360 peaks of the key mountains. And uh, yeah, pretty spectacular. When we started walking today, we were right down near that river you can see in the distance. So where we're walking now is on a, a ridge between two mountains and pretty much either side, it's a long way down to wherever it goes and um, pretty much the same the other side. I look over so yeah, right up on the ridge. So this is what this portion of the forest looks like after the typhoon came through. A lot of debris in that, and this is the track we're walking on. You can see it's a bit hard to distinguish the track from the general area. So it must have, must have come through a bit blowy the other night. So slippery with these rocks after the rain. You've got to watch every footstep. Some really interesting things in the forest and some of the creepers that are growing there in amongst the old, old parts of the culture. And like this vine here that just seems to have wanted to reach out and go where it wanted to go, I guess. So we've just come down from the mountains up there and cross this bridge. We've got about another kilometre or so I think to get into Koguchi. So we're just having a little bit of a last break. When we get to Koguchi we have to ring somebody about accommodation for tonight. It's been a good walk today. Six hours or so, um, no rain and pretty steep track actually but very enjoyable. 
we hadn't realised the level of damage and destruction that the typhoon had brought to this particular area. This whole area had been underwater at one stage and the river's a long way away. So all this area got flooded two days ago and the river is way over there. The flood waters have come up a long, long way. Our driver was actually struggling to keep the bus on the on the road at this stage because it was just layers and layers of thick mud that the workmen are trying to get rid of. And as I said, uh, we hadn't realised just how venomous it had been. The road had been washed away in sections. Um, where the road's pretty much you know, it would have been dicey in in the away. middle of the rain driving through this area. That's for sure. You can just see there where whole sections of the road are just missing. Tomorrow we're supposed to be starting again at Kaguchi and um, it's going to be quite a difficult walk because it's a very mountainous section all the way along to the temple at Naichi-san which is where the big waterfall is and, and that's where we were supposed to finish. Problem is the trail has been um, washed away by various landslides. Our best option tomorrow then is the place where we're staying are going to drop us off at Shingu Station and hopefully from there we'll be able to get a train or a bus uh, down to Kamano Naichi Taisha, which is where the temple is. All that depends very much on which bus lines are running because of the damage of the storms. See how we go.